never before have we seen the universe with such clarity. Neil deGrasse Tyson now says the debate in physics is over, the latest James Webb discovery finally proves the truth, and a crisis has erupted in science. Those who are not prepared to throw outdated theories overboard and turn to new possibilities about the true nature of the universe will have a bad hand in science in the future. The James Webb Telescope is now opening the doors to a whole new science and may even reveal the infinity of the universe. James Webb is one of the most remarkable scientific instruments we humans have ever created. Thanks to this space telescope, we can see so far back in time that we can almost look back to when space is said to have been born. But something is wrong. Either these galaxies were something like cosmic early developers, or the theory of the Big Bang is wrong. Just imagine, galaxies that were probably just in their infancy appear like mature adult galaxies. James Webb found more than a dozen galaxies 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang that were highly complex structured and full of stars in a way that astronomers have come to expect only from very old galaxies. These discoveries shed light on a Poe of the universe that were previously in the dark, and they put the foundations of cosmology to the test. James Webb has triggered a scientific crisis. A quote from Tyson, it's a crisis. Let's reiterate, the standard model of cosmology is a theoretical framework that describes the development and structure of the universe from its beginning to the present present day. For decades, this model has served as a compass based on the fundamental laws of classical physics, Albert Einstein's relativity equations, and observations in the current cosmos. But the data provided by JWST reveals phenomena that lie outside the predictions of this model, and now scientists are facing disaster. A large part of the global community of astronomers, cosmologists, and physicists agree that the universe began with a big bag and has continued to expand from that point ever since. In between, there was an epoch of darkness in which there were no stars in the young universe. Then the first light sources came into play, and gradually stars formed, first loose clusters, and then complex galaxies like our Milky Way. Now you are probably wondering how researchers were able to determine the Big Bang when there was no light at all, no one was around, and it was clear that no one would ever see this event. They took the picture of all the current phenomena, such as the movements of galaxies, and the action of certain forces. Then they calculated the scenario back to a starting point. The catch, however, is that no one knew for sure if there ever was a beginning. A quote from Tyson, we didn't know the exact age or size of the universe because our estimates could be off by a factor of two. The scientists were, therefore, aware that all the values and sizes of their theories were prone to error. Nevertheless, everything still fitted into the picture quite well until James Webb came along. Now the physicist and astronomer house of cards are collapsing, and what has long been sold to us as truth is now turning out to be false. Big Bang, the evidence was always missing. Did you know that the theories of the Big Bang, the expansion of the universe, and the age of the universe were nothing more than estimates and model calculations? Nevertheless, these theories are considered the central pillars of modern cosmology. In fact, the ideas were also supported by a multitude of observations and scientific findings, but there were also warning signs that scientists consistently overlooked. The theories offered a reasonably coherent picture of the origin and evolution of the universe, and some of the ideas were also confirmed by various independent measurements, but by no means all of them. The Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation or CMB for short is the classic when it comes to confirming the idea of the Big Bang and the expansion of the universe. Discovered in 1965 by Arup Penchers and Robert Wilson, this radiation, which is still omnipresent in space today, was interpreted as the afterglow of the Big Bang. The radiation was seen as a kind of photographic imprint of the universe created when the universe was only 380,000 years old and when it became cool enough for electrons and protons to combine to form neutral atoms. The almost perfect uniformity of the CMB across the entire sky with tiny temperature fluctuations apparently not only confirmed the Big Bang but also provided crucial information about the composition and evolution of the universe. Everything looked coherent, and the discovery of the CMB was long regarded as the proof of the theory put forward by George Lamia in 1927. The Belgian priest and astrophysicist observed that distant galaxies were moving away from us. He made this discovery by analyzing the red shift in the light of these galaxies. 
From these observations, Lamia concluded that the universe was expanding from a single extremely dense and hot point. He presented the idea of an expanding universe that originated from a primordial atom from which all matter in the universe was formed. In 1929, Edwin Hubble provided the first direct evidence for the expansion of the universe by observing that galaxies are moving away from us, their speed being proportional to their distance. This observation became known as Hubble's law and was taken as direct evidence of a dynamic expanding universe. The determination of the age of the universe was based on the measurement of the expansion rate or the Hubble constant and on the observation of the oldest known stars at the time. However, James Webb has now observed stars and galaxies that tell a completely different story. The standard model has reached its limits, and it is now clear that something was wrong with the previous considerations. It was basically foreseeable, but for a long time, most scientists did not want to hear about the criticisms of the old ideas. There were persistent uncertainties and discrepancies in the precise measurements of the Hubble constant. Different methods such as the observation of seats and supernova and nearby galaxies compared to the values derived from the CMB lead to slightly different results. These discrepancies were actually an indication of an incomplete understanding of cosmic dynamics, measurement error. They didn't want to believe it. It sounds crazy, but the indications that the previous theories could not be correct were always there. In addition to the discrepancy between the various measurements of the expansion rate of the universe already mentioned, precise measurements of the CMV itself always raised questions that were difficult to reconcile with the standard model. The subtle fluctuations in the CMV, which were mapped with unprecedented accuracy by satellite missions such as Planck, clearly indicated an early complexity of the universe. In particular, the scale dependence of these fluctuations provided evidence for phenomena that could not be explained by classical cosmology. If we look at quantum physics, the discrepancies become even greater. Phenomena such as the quantum fluctuations in the early universe and the indication of the existence of several realities side by side show that the determinism of the old theories is possibly a dead end. It is precisely this dead end that scientists, whom Neil deGrasse Tyson calls old timers, are now stuck in. A hard time has dawned for the old timers of science, said the astrophysicist in an interview meaning that the old ways of thinking will no longer hold. James Webb shows us that something very different in the early universe than previously assumed, and the discussion about the correctness of the old standard model of astrophysics is now over. The old theories are no longer tenable, but hardly anyone wants to say it so clearly. Are we approaching infinity? Could the biggest flaw in the standard model of cosmology lie in the assumption of a universe that must have a beginning and an end? Could the inconsistencies and the search for new physics actually open the long overdue door to a truly infinite universe or even a multiverse? There is growing evidence that we do not live in a temporally or spatially closed universe, but in a multiverse. The inflationary theories and string theory show that we may have overlooked much more. Although direct evidence for the infinity of the universe or the existence of a multiverse remains elusive, these concepts score points in other respects. String theory is currently the only coherent explanation that can reconcile the world of the smallest particles with the laws of the universe of large-scale phenomena. However, this only works if we allow for further dimensions that we do not yet know. The old-timers among scientists have always rejected such ideas. Supposedly, the evidence is lacking, but as James Webb has now impressively shown us, the evidence for the theories that have been accepted as truths for almost a century was also lacking. Will we see the Big Bang after all? Something that most people overlook is the fact that now our chances of looking back to 138 billion years ago are increasing. James Webb looks back 135 billion years and shows us that there must have been large galaxies back then. These galaxies were at least several million years old at that time, so there was already light in the universe at approximately very close to the magical 138 thresholds. Realize for a moment that scientists used to think that the universe was only dark for a long time, an assumption that made it completely impossible to ever look back to the Big Bang. We can only collect and interpret traces of light or rely on radiation sources such as the CMB. But if these very old galaxies now show us that there were already many stars when the universe was supposedly still young, then we must still be able to find older galaxies. We are slowly approaching the exact point in time that is supposed to have been the beginning. 
If 138 billion years ago, ready-made galaxies were already shining brightly, we know for sure that the Big Bang could not have happened. It is only a matter of time before we can do this. It's possible that James Webb will present more and more images of even older galaxies, and science will gain even more clues as to what really happened in the past of the universe. The shocking findings to date were drawn by researchers from a single image that James Webb took at the very beginning of his mission. The deep image was just the start, so to speak, and we can look forward to seeing what new fascinating facts we get about the universe when James Webb turns his eyes once again to the alleged beginning of time.